you first log in, you land on your dashboard. Now, the dashboard comes with certain presets already added, like opportunity status, value, conversion rate, funnels, distribution, of the stages. You can add task manual. See how everything is in here, where your leads are coming from, your Google Analytics, Google Dashboard, Google Business Profile, and Facebook. So this is pretty standard. What we're going to be going over is how you can customize this dashboard to have the data that you want. So we're going to be able to edit this however you'd like. So you can add a widget, you can edit your dashboard meaning dragging and dropping different components. Maybe your funnels are more important to you, so you may be putting those up here. You can easily edit the current components just by hitting edit and save changes. Your dashboard's going to look like this. If you want to edit what's currently on your dashboard, all you've got to do is select edit and then move any fields, drag and dropping them wherever you'd like, and moving any cards specific to your needs wherever you'd like, and being able to resize them. Then you'll save your changes, and then if you want to add a widget, this is what we're going to be going over, is how to customize your dashboard to give it your look and feel with your specific data. What we want to go over is all the details of the specifics inside of the widget, so that way we can talk about setting up your dashboard the way you want to see the data based on what's going on with your software. So let's get started. When you first log in and you see your dashboard, you'll see that you've got these dates right here. So you can customize how you wanna view the data on your dashboard by setting maybe this week, last week, the last seven days, this month or the whole entire year. So basically when the data is inside a card, if you select it based on the current calendar, that's how the data is going to show unless you tell it otherwise. The first thing I want to point out is the fact that you can edit your dashboard. If you already like the cards that are displaying on your dashboard and you just want to rearrange them or move them in an order, that's where the edit button comes in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select edit and once you have the edit button turned on, if if you want to move something, all you've got to do is click it and drag and drop to wherever you'd like. So let's say if it's more important for you to see the stages, you can come over here to the stages. We can make this longer and you'll see right here, I'm pulling this right here at the very bottom and I'm just expanding it. So I can redesign my entire dashboard just by selecting edit. So right now I've got this set to the sales distribution pipeline. If I wanted to, I can click these three dots and I can completely delete it if I do not want that to show up inside of my dashboard. So you can easily delete the card, drag and drop them, and expand any card you want when you are in edit mode. Once you're done, all you're gonna do is select save changes and that's how easy it is to edit your dashboard. So if you find something on here that you don't really care about, Again, you can always click edit your dashboard, click the three dots and delete it to remove the data from your dashboard. Let's go ahead and get into adding widgets and the components inside of your dashboard. Now that you know how to edit your dashboard, view it by dates, saving all of your changes, I wanna show you how to add a widget to your dashboard. Let's say you wanna change the data. Maybe there's something you're more interested in, like the total number of cells for the month or specific things. This is where you go in and add the widget to your dashboard. So basically right here, you're going to see where you can add a widget. So there's a lot of different widgets that you can add right now. And you're going to want to check back because we'll be loading in more and more new widgets in here. Right now, what we've got is the most important things that you need to be looking at when it comes to running your business. What's going on with your contacts? You can see right here, contact count, how many contact tags, contacts by tag, contacts by account activity, contacts by type. You'll see contact counts by tag. That's your tag distribution, the number of contacts with the activity and activity type in the defined period. And remember, defined period is going to be what you set up here when you first logged into your dashboard. Contacts distribution by type, contacts map to assigned users, contacts map to different companies, contacts 
counted over time. So we've got contacts right here. We've got appointments. Maybe there's certain things that you want to track on your dashboard. How many appointments do we have? The number of appointments in the selected time period or assigned. The number of confirmed appointments for selected time frame. How many people showed in that specific time frame? How many people no showed? How many people canceled? Appointment counts and status. Appointment counts and groups. Appointment dashboards, no shows, and canceled options. We know that you're just getting started using the software. So we wanted to make sure that you knew that this is available to you. As you begin to use the software, you're going to want to be able to track the things that you want to track. Let's go down to opportunities. We call it opportunities, open opportunities, won, lost, abandoned, opportunities by count. We can do opportunities over a certain time. We can also do revenue over time, opportunity counts, which would be the number opportunities and value, lost, abandoned, won, total values. These are my favorite right here, and I like to focus on the won opportunities. How many did you win this month? How many, what was the value of the opportunities, won, and what was the total value of the month? What happens is when you close out an opportunity, sometimes it doesn't set up on your report correctly because it'll show the original entry date into the pipeline. So if you want specific sales numbers, like exactly what's won this month, that's where you're going to want to come into here. Then we've got general, and this is where you're going to see some more fun things coming in. We've got some opportunity statuses, values, conversion rates, funnels, sales distribution, tasks. This is a great way to view tasks on your dashboard. The manual actions, where the leads are coming in, Google Analytics. Facebook ads and Google ads reports. So if you're running ads and you want to track that on your dashboard, that's here. Now that we've gone in and seen what all we're able to do and what data we're able to add, you can easily search the widget if you're looking for something for opportunity, contacts, you can search here. Right here is where you can select the chart type. You can see all, you can look for numeric chart types, donut chart types, line chart types, bar and horizontal bar. So let's use this for example. I want to come in here and I want to track, let's say, my no-show appointment count. So I've selected no-show. Do I want it to be a number? Do I want it to be a donut? Do I want it to be a line, a bar, or a horizontal? Let's just select number. But I want to know my no-show appointment counts. Right here it says configure, so I can just call it no-show appointment counts, or I can just name it number of no-shows. Then you can see right here it's got an advanced setting, so I can do when was it created on or booked for. So I could do the created on date or what was it booked for. Then you can select the specific date range to override the dashboard date range. I'm going to leave it to the dashboard date range. When I come over here to conditions, are there any conditions? And or do I want to do status is no show? Do I want to add another condition? I can add another condition, user, calendar, group. So we could do calendar. We could select a certain calendar that we want to do, and then we can hit save. What happens is it brings it down to the very, very bottom. And now I'm back to my editing. But this is a number I want to see up top. So I'm going to just drag this back all the way to the top. So once you create your card, you can easily come in and add it right here. You can also drag and drop so you can see your no-show count. Let's just save it right here. And then if I did my date range from, let's say the 1st of October, just this month, it would show that I have one no-show appointment. We can come in and we can add another one. Let's say we want to do showed appointments count. We can do the same thing. Showed appointments count. Condition would be showed, which calendar it's in. Remember, we're tracking our calendar here. Save. And now I've got a showed count. So we've got a no-show, a showed. And let's go ahead and add one more appointment for, let's say, canceled appointment count. Again, I can select my advanced settings, but I'm keeping these the same. And I'm going to add my condition is the calendar. And the specific calendar is going to be a demo calendar. And now you can see 
day, I've got my no-show appointment count, my showed, and my canceled appointments. Now, it doesn't really look flowing. So again, I can grab this little piece, drag it down, and all of a sudden, it looks wonderful. Let's say I want to add another widget. Let's go into our opportunities, and I want to add the one opportunities, not the total one. I want to get the total of the one opportunities for this month. I want to see a total value, the number of one opportunities in the current month. So this would be a number, and this would be the total value, meaning the dollar amount the total value monetary of one. I'm gonna select this, and then what I'm gonna do is one opportunities this month. It says for you, that would be you. Again, you can change the date range, but let's come over here and do the conditions. We wanna know it's one, and we wanna know the pipeline is, which pipeline is sales. So I just changed the condition to show the status is one and the pipeline is sales. Now I can do a number or I can do a donut, but let's for fun, let's do one of these bar charts. I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna save it all the way to the bottom. I'll bring this back over here. All right, so again, this doesn't look exactly the way I want. So I can either come over here and edit and I can say no show, save. I'm gonna bring this a little bit further. I'm gonna rename this. We don't need to put account. We can say showed appointments. I'm just gonna draw and drop this over here and then we'll go ahead and canceled appointments. It's pretty obvious it's account. I'm going to know what this is because it's going to be my dashboard. And then we can leave the one opportunities here. And if I want to bring this in, look at this, I can now drag and drop. And now my dashboard looks pretty. So again, you can play with all of the widgets that you'd like. If you want it to look perfect, you can drag these out a little bit. Let's move this over, move this over, and we'll show the show no showed as high if i wanted to reorganize these i could just drag and drop and move them showed no show canceled canceled no show and then i'm going to hit save changes and then you can see right here if i wanted to change the date i could do this week change my dates and that's how you add a widget to your dashboard and organize your dashboard the way you would like to see it pretty neat stuff i would have to say so again, you could just say this month and save it to view what's going on in your world this month. And again, don't forget, you can easily come in here. And if you see that you can't click on this, all you got to do is hit edit. And when you hit edit, just drag these over and you can make it look very pretty the way you'd like it to be. And let's say I want to move my funnel all the way to the top. I'm going to bring this all the way closer to the top. There we go. And my dashboard looks good and ready to go. So I'm going to save it. And that's how easy it is to add a widget and then adjust your dashboard, going back into editing and making it provide you with the exact information that you want. So now it's time for you to go in and make your dashboard your own. Oh,